Welcome back everybody, Harry P from Driftless Homestead. Um, today I'm gonna um, we're gonna have a continuation of the where we left off with the last video as far as you know as loading the logs in the tub, soaking them overnight. Then as I took them out of the tub, I smacked them against this big block here, and then I leaned them up against the shed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you it's hot out and the mushrooms are growing really fast right now. So we're gonna show you kind of an every other day breakdown of uh, through the week of how fast these mushrooms progress. And um, you'll see that it takes me probably three days um, to pick all the mushrooms that are ripe at the perfect point. You know, when they, when they open up the veil breaks, they open up and they're still, the edges are still pointed down. You don't want to let it pancake out because then these bugs move in to eat the, uh, the spore. So these spore bugs will get on the mushrooms if you let them pancake out. And then you just have to tap them to get them off. But then I almost assuredly dry all those mushrooms so that it drives the bugs off of them. So, um, Hope you enjoy the updates. Welcome back everybody. I uh, want to do a quick update on mushrooms, the mushroom logs. So on Sunday night, I got back with the logs and I soaked a few of the logs. It would be in this week's series of logs. Um, and I soaked them until Monday morning. So call it 12 13 hours in the water some of the logs because we had so much rain were already starting to pin um, so they ended up with mushrooms well you'll see I'll show it to you um, but the other logs are pinning fantastically so um, that was Sunday today's Wednesday um, and of course you need seven to ten days in order to pick all the mushrooms off those logs so let me show you what we got there i was also at a store yesterday that does sell sh locally grown shiitake mushrooms but you can tell that they're on substrate and i just want to do a comparison contrast to the log grown shiitakes versus um the store bought and substrate growing shiitakes and you know I'm not gonna show you uh, the business um, because I, I appreciate them I've actually bought their mushrooms in the winter time before I got up to where I am now um, and I'm doing a lot of drying of the mushrooms um, and there's a lot less waste because I'm able to pick them at the right time versus, you know, only checking on them once a week and and having the bugs get to them or having them be overripe and, and wasted. So let me show you, I'll reverse the camera here. Logs, I kind of didn't get them evened out as far as the uh, number of logs per week. But on this first log, hopefully you can see all the pinning that's going on. You know, these are all all these white spots on here are going to be mushrooms coming out of this log for some reason there's not as many up high as there is down low but there is you know there's an actual mushroom coming out some more pinning at the bottom of this log so this log here is the one that was uh had pins on it when i soaked it but you can see this thing is just full of pins. Um, this is a bigger log, you know, maybe I should change the way I'm thinking about things, but you know, um, there is a lot. Here's another bigger log, you know, looks like this one might've came out of the same tree to be honest with you. Um, but there's a lot of pinning here as well as uh, small mushrooms that go all the way down. So this week, what I did was I got this board out and I put the law or put the cinder blocks down. 
because I was having a problem with uh, slugs coming up from the ground and um, starting to eat on some of the mushrooms or whatnot, and they're just needed to get rid of them. So um, I could put out bowls of beer and have them drown themselves in the beer. Uh, I just haven't done that yet. I need to do that in the garden, but I haven't done it out here yet. So that's the uh, quick up mushroom update. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's after three days of uh, after the soaking process to force fruit the logs. Good morning, everybody. We're going to have a little mushroom update here. Um, remember, I put the mushrooms, soaked them Sunday night for overnight let's say 12 hours uh took them out monday morning uh and here is the update today is thursday morning so remember we're looking for seven days so um it would be the following <clears throat> tuesday would be when i would harvest the mushrooms um, but they are exploding so I'm gonna show you what's going on with them right now okay so here's one ironwood um, you'll see there's lots of pinning lots of mushrooms started um, for some reason on this one there's a mushroom is there well, there's a pin so I was gonna say that there's a doesn't seem like there's any at the top so this one is a double jewel um, that's the mushroom I normally do because I really like the way it looks um, you know presentations a lot when you're going to sell mushrooms here's the back side of this log it has more mushrooms on it um, this is the it's a double jewel too. This series of logs that I want, stack of logs I got in the woods. That one doesn't have a single mushroom on it. And that is a double jewel too. This one has a couple pins down at the bottom there. I did have a second variety. Here it is. So this would be a WR46, which would be a wide ranging uh, uh, WR46, which is a wide ranging mushroom. Um, I tried a few of these um, in the catalog. It says, I mean, there's some pins on here that, that uh, it's bigger than the. Uh, Double jewel. Here's another WR46. Um, and you can see our progress through there. Some pins. This one here, I think, is a double jewel. Um, this is a large log, but you know, on this particular log, I mean, look at all of the pins and small mushrooms and stuff coming through. So I might have to rethink, um, and even on the back side, try to flip you around here, even on the back side of this log, just an amazing amount of pins starting on there and going. This mushroom right here, which uh, I feel is ready to pick, um, that mushroom was a pin when I soaked it. Uh, so it kind of had it from the heavy rains that we had it had a head start um, going on but you know now it's doing what it's doing here is another log um, I think it's from the exact same tree as that one um, but you just see all of the pins and all the young mushrooms here um, coming through and this is a double jewel as well back side of this log is just filled with mushrooms I'm going to turn it a little bit since the mushrooms are on so many sides there and then this I don't know there was some insect or rodent damage on these logs um, and it might have killed a log 
Does it damage the, uh... Well, there's a few pins on this one. And this is the WR46, so, um... Not great production on those, the, the last two there. Um, there again, you know, there's some damage on the log itself, so... We'll see what's going on, but these two here... Just unbelievable. So... Maybe I need to stick with a, a, a larger diameter log and then go a little bit shorter. You know, versus these two logs here, which don't have many pins on at all, which are smaller diameter and shorter. So keep experimenting till we get the right, the right formula here. Thanks for showing up. We'll give you another update in two days, which would be... Well, actually, today's Thursday, so I will probably give you an update on Saturday and then again on Monday and Tuesday because we're going to harvest both on Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to pick that one large one right now. Good morning, folks. Harry P. with the Driftless Homestead here. Quick update on the mushrooms for this week. I kind of wanted to break it down. Um, how, how you harvest the mushrooms you know um, we go seven to ten days after soaking is when we start to harvest the mushrooms this week though it's been really warm out and some of these logs are just exploding with mushrooms <clears throat> which means that I have to start harvesting them now otherwise I'll end up with bug issues and you know they'll just be unsightly because they'll be way too ripe so Real quick, I want to show you what uh, what we got going on with these mushroom logs and uh, what's happening. So, just to bring you up to speed, uh, got back Sunday night with the logs. I soaked them for 12 hours. Usually I do 24 hours, but I just did a, a quick 12 hours because I was behind a week because of taking a vacation. <clears throat> so I soaked them Sunday night. Pulled them out of the water Monday morning. Today is Friday morning, so they've only been five days, not seven to ten days, uh, as far as being out of the forest fruiting process. So, real quick, let me turn the camera around and show you uh, where we are in this five days, five day cycle, and which mushrooms that I'm gonna have to. Uh, have to pick otherwise they're going to be way too ripe uh, by the time I get back to them so hold on just a minute here let's look at these logs here um, this one here is progressing these two get in the frame progressing rapidly um, I'm gonna have to pick this mushroom today and that one mushroom I'll try and let go this afternoon that's how quick they're growing um, yeah, this log here is struggling to get anything going. I got a pin there. That's about it, but just not keeping up with the others, I guess. And then there's a few pins and way too far in here. Uh, there's a few pins and mushrooms growing on this log as well. Oops. Don't want to get it too close. This log here doesn't appear to have anything going on. And this log is a double jewel. I cannot read the date since I don't have my glasses on. Um, these two larger logs, as you can see, are just exploding with mushrooms. I mean, I've got them in all stages here. I've got them completely ripe, ready to pick. i got them flushing out. This is incredible. And then I cut these two logs on the end here. You know, and this is generally what I would see is these pinnings after five days. Um, and then later on, the seven to ten days, like these two larger logs. But it is just amazing how much these two larger logs are putting out right now. Um, so, just wanted a quick update here. I will probably do an update this afternoon as well after I pick some of these 
today and they're growing so fast I'll probably pick some more this afternoon um, and then I'm going to be gone for a couple days so I'm a little bit worried about how fast these are progressing so um, thanks for tuning in good morning everybody Harry P here hey I wanted to bring you a quick mushroom update to show you how quick these logs uh, progress once you soak them in water overnight um, usually I do 24 hours but this particular round of logs I did for about 12 hours on Sunday so Monday I took them out of the water and right now um, is Saturday morning so it's not even seven days yet and usually it's the seven to ten days when I harvest all my mushrooms but today I'm going to be harvesting mushrooms because they are really, really big. Um, let's take a look. I need to do a deep dive on this log. This is the most incredible log I've ever had. Um, as you can see, here's the few we've seen before. I've cut some mushrooms off it already, but this thing is absolutely clustered all the way around with just an amazing amount of mushrooms so i think uh might have to let them iron woods grow a little bit in the woods and uh before i cut them so based on these two logs i've got another one over there i'm gonna try um and we'll see you know as far as uh how large how many mushrooms the big logs put out i may change the focus of my operation here so there is what i cut for Saturday morning it's unbelievable um, the haul that I'm getting here um, we'll check them out tomorrow afternoon I left some on there um, they weren't quite opened up all the way um, I can show you this is a beautiful mushroom right here you can see the the jewels on the double jewel hanging off there but uh, I'll show you the difference in what we want to pick and what we don't want to pick so on these here, let me get the camera to focus. You see how the edge is still curled over? Um, ideally, I'd probably be around tonight to pick them, but I'm not going to be because um, you don't want them to flatten out like a pancake. Um, these are all, this one I probably could have left till tonight. Um, let me see if I could find one. This one here. Although smaller is probably the perfect uh, time to op to pick it while it's opening up. And then, let me find one that's completely veiled yet. Actually, I could pick that one. And these are still curled over. The veils pretty much um, are off right now so I'm gonna pick some more actually because uh, they're gonna be overripe tomorrow or some of them so just wanted to show you the the haul we got I got a whole container full of them um, it's a pretty good haul okay today I picked the last of the mushrooms on this series of logs um, it was about, uh, well, it was a, a tub full. But I also stopped at the store because I wanted to show you the difference between a log growing shiitake and one that I believe is at a commercial farm. So I believe it is growing on substrate. On the packaging, it didn't say that it was or wasn't growing on shub straight but I certainly would um, expect that if it was a premium grown shiitake that they would brag about it and then say that it was log growing um, first things first you know you could tell by the size certainly the color of the mushroom but another important thing I wanted to show you here and you don't eat the stems on shiitake mushrooms but you look at the stem on one of the log grown mushrooms is very robust very sturdy um, maybe you can notice 
the camera picks up the um, the thickness of the mushroom um, the colors these are a little dried out we've had incredibly hot temperatures but you can see the the color difference um, I'll tell you you can't feel I know that um, there is a difference difference in the texture um, on these um, compared to these so you'll notice well, there's a big stem but most of the stems are very small um, and the texture is these are um, kind of thin and um, I don't want to say slimy but there is definitely a certain feel to them that would say that they're on their way down and I did buy them in a grocery store they were refrigerated so I'll um, give give concede that point um, so when I look here at these what we're going to do is we're going to take a cross section of one or a couple of them and I'm just going to cut straight across in the middle by the stem and I'm going to show you how thick they are um, can I use as an example here? Not really deal and change nowadays. Um, yeah, we'll just, you can see based on my hands how thick they are. And then we'll take the larger of the store bought ones, which this one, you know, for a store bought one is pretty thick. So you can compare, there is a difference in the thickness and the whiteness of them along with the robust um, flavor. The texture, um, I would say, is pretty much not comparable. These get pretty thin on the sides where this is pretty robust all the way through. Um, I'm also going to include an article. Um, explaining that the, um, the nutritional difference between a substrate grown shiitake and a natural law grown shiitake um, one of the colleges did a study and they are more nutritious to have the um, the law grown shiitake so I would consider that a premium product um, and if you're eating it for your health um, I would put premium stuff in my body first it's kind of like comparing iceberg lettuce to spinach or uh, kale as far as um, you know what you would reach for to put into your body first as far as nutritional quality we know that uh, nutritional quality iceberg lettuce is kind of low compared to those other two I would say the same thing for the substrate grown um, shiitakes versus the log grown shiitakes and not only that this being a factory farm you know they're trying they got other kinds of mushrooms they're putting out as well they're just trying to put out pounds per week um, where someone who takes the time to do it on logs is concerned about quality and that's what they're trying to put out I'm also going to be myself offering two different kinds of shiitake mushrooms I'm going to be offering um, well if you catch me at a farmers market I'll sell fresh shiitakes um, but if I got to ship them I want them to be dried shiitakes um, that way where it's costing everybody less money to ship a dried product but when it comes to the dried product I am going to offer a sun-dried shiitake mushroom and as I've explained in the past you know that the gills of the shiitake mushroom can um, work like our skin and manufacture um, vitamin D you know so that'll even be even that much more healthy for you and um, be a way to eat your vitamin D from a natural product versus taking it in a pill form which I've gone 
seen several studies and stuff and heard people talk about our bodies not taking in um, as much you know we, we take pills you know that our bodies doesn't absorb the pills we're taking as well as it does out of food so um, look for the uh, the article I'll have that a link to that article posted down below and then once again you know please I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe share the videos with other people comment on the videos if you want to have further discussion about stuff and uh, or questions you know maybe I could help you or maybe you've uh, been doing this longer than I and you can help me with stuff so thanks again like comments subscribe 